Welcome to DeepX, a software for the design of deep excavations. We will be introducing one of the most innovative features uh, and unique feature in DeepX that's coming up in the 2017 version, and that's the Building Damage Assessment module. DeepX will be the first program to include capabilities to automatically estimate uh, the level of damage to adjacent buildings from excavations. We are loading an existing file right now to simplify the process and show you uh, the, directly the results. But basically we have a section without any building and we also have created a section with the building. If we want to see the building better we can go to general, model dimension limits, change the coordinates of the top view and the bottom. We can double click on the building, select edit. Let's uh, use a higher building, let's say six floors, 70 foot height. And on the damage assessment here, we have this option. And we have the option to select it to basically uh, base the damage on the selected design section that we're having the building on or on uh, a 3D model plan view will select a 3D model. We can also include co include complete external walls on the sides of the building. So we're going to select these two walls as being completely continuous and select OK. This is our building there. That's our excavation. Excavating 10. And uh, we will perform the analysis by selecting all design sections. So we'll wait while the analysis is being performed. Then we'll go into the project plan to see exactly where that building is located, where we have created a full excavation uh, in a 2D plan. So we're waiting a little bit here. Now the program basically estimates all the loads for the building based on the properties that we have given. And then uses those loads directly on the design section here based on the three dimensional distribution of where that design section is located. The analysis is complete and we can actually right click or we can go to project plan and if we click the Delta Z for the settlements we'll see here the settlement analysis being performed. Now part of what we have done all right is actually when we've clicked on the wall segments here we have assigned a different section here on this part of the wall that corresponds with the section with the building. Theoretically, you could subdivide this into different segments where there is no building uh, and where there is one. And here on the top side and the other side, we've used the section without the building. So we can see here that there is significantly more settlement that's being predicted. And basically, the program is arching with some basic assumptions from uh, the corners where we are assuming that there is no lateral deflection and basically the settlement uh, is close to zero to the center. If we went into the building and we right click and select damage assessment results, we can actually see the level of soft strains, tensile strains and so on, distortions and the level of damage here it says severe, very severe. Uh, and there's also the crack widths that are being estimated. So here we're estimating a maximum crack width of 0.6 inches, which is quite severe. And if we take a look at it, why something like that will happen, if we look at uh, take a look at the displacement, we're predicting 1.25 inches of displacement here on this wall. And this is almost right next to the excavation. So going again back on the results, we can view the results of individual elements 
walls, floors, and so on. We can see the horizontal movement for a specific element in inches from the excavation. We can see the settlements. with the distance from the excavation. And then this is the only program that actually produces automatically an estimate on the Boscardin recording chart where we have the horizontal strain and the angular distortion and the different categories. And this is how the program can categorize, one of the ways it can categorize the level of damage that is expected. There's also charts by hogging, for hogging by Berland, uh, if that method is selected. Those options are also available in the Stability Plus uh, tab where we can click on the Building Dutchman Assessment. There's options here for what we want to calculate and options for estimating uh, displacements uh, beyond excavation, horizontal displacements and settlements. And we could calculate that independently if we wanted to. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Remember that this is the only software program that is uh, giving you the capabilities to estimate the level of potential damage to adjacent buildings. If you don't want to do that yourself, feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.